my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you find the active users in groups whether it's your groups whether it's uh public groups or it's uh groups that you're part of how do you know who is actually active in the group and what are the ways that you can do that and why why do you care about that right as a course creator well maybe you have a, a you're trying to find potential customers maybe you're trying to find who to talk to who to connect with in the groups that are your target market so we're going to get to that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets now you might be thinking finding active groups is pretty easy right because you just go to the group and you see what the posts are who's actually posting right but we're just bear with me we're going to talk about a way that helps that's more efficient than you actually going into groups but first we're going to talk about you know what how what I mean I guess by active users and all that before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis389.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen I'll be sharing some anecdotes that you can't just hear in the audio so let's get right to that and kind of talk about what do I mean by Facebook active you know group users right so let's go into that let's just share my screen right here so so you're on Facebook right obviously you see the feed the feed you know can be active users but that's not like Cynthia right here 42 minutes ago obviously she's active she posted 42 minutes ago right and this other person Sarah Sarah Blackburn she posted uh January 4th which was that was two days ago so the feed shows it like this right so the feed kind of shows you and you can kind of see the dates there January 2nd that's a while ago so how does you know that's the algorithm right Facebook kind of shows you things that are happening in the feed based on um third see this 31 minutes ago so you know that kind of stuff right so that's the feed those are active now what do I mean by active group users if I go to a, a group like say for example ClickFunnels a click funnels avenger group that I'm part of there's 91,000 people in this group right so if I click up on this members list right I can see the list of people in the group right I can see friends I can see members with things in common members near you uh pages and then just all the all the members right so I can see these members now how do I know you know in this list here how do I know who's active right how do you even figure that out you can see this one joined 12 hours ago 10 hours ago that kind of stuff there so whether they're active or not that's that's really you can't really see that they're active because it just says when they joined right so as a group admin you might find it really really interesting to know who is active in your group right who is active who's the person that's helping your group to grow that's commenting that's posting that's doing activities in the group that's reacting to posts that helps your group to grow you want to connect with them right as the group owner you want to connect with them that's definitely one way or one use of knowing who the active users are when I look at the list here <coughs> say I was the admin of the group I could obviously it's different than if you're not an admin but still you have the list of users right there who is in the group right so how do you find the active users well one way to do it right one way to do it is you go to the group and you look at who's posting like this Tony guy I mean he posted December 20th so that's doesn't mean he's active right even though this is like the top of the the top of the group feed it doesn't mean he's active now he might have posted that December 20th and that's it never posted anything else but he, he his post is on top of the feed because there's a lot of people commenting now these people that are commenting in here are active at least they're active on this one post so you know this was two weeks ago uh, uh one day ago <coughs> was two weeks two weeks two weeks so this is two weeks so lots of it is two weeks ago because what that's when the post was done but did, look at this this one is one hour ago 21 hours ago so you can come and see that this Benjamin here 
is active in the group right you can see that he's active so you could probably you know go and go to their go to their profile right here oops no not block I don't want to block but if I was to just click on his uh user right I can I see his uh, posts and what he's done in the group right I can kind of see his activity so that kind of gives you one way to find who's active right that's you know for me that's a really manual way and you could do that you could spend you know half an hour or one hour every day if you're the admin of the group you can go and look at the comments and see who's comes in the most and go visit their profile but the thing is that it's keeping track of all that that's for me anyways that's that's kind of crazy right but um but anyways that, like if you like to organize your time and you're you're able to plan things out and you have a you have a, a good way of uh, um of keeping track of what you've done and you are a, a pro in excel sheets and you understand how to um organize the data like this for example right this would have to be this guy's name may, might be a folder on my computer and in there I can create notes and I can put or you have a, an app on your phone where you have a, a a note file for each user that you interact with you put notes in there you say this guy posted this <laughs> you cut and paste things and all these things you do screenshots and save them and things like that so you can keep track right so to me that's a lot of work but anyways that is possible right that is possible now in a minute if you keep listening or you or you um you will see or you watch the video or uh, depending on how what what anyways I'm gonna have a blog post too but yeah so if you keep listening I'm gonna get into a way that you can automate this but for now let's just kind of explain the process of what I'm talking about so basically this guy here Benjamin is posting stuff in the group he's got a question he posted on December 28th here he uh, December 18th he posted December 15th so he posted like you know three every every week or so he posted something right <laughs> so he's definitely active in this group so he would qualify as an active person so when I look at this and he even has a badge right these badges do certainly help valued responder so and also a recent activity here can you see the timing on these things <clears throat> no not really it just says recent right uh, in the in Facebook you can't tell when this was but if I go to this I can see his comment right here and now I can see it's one hour ago right so I can see he commented one hour ago in this post so if I go back to the discussion here if I load it up I can see other people other posts right let's say go down scroll down and get the next post the next post is this one from Tony that's 19 hours ago so that could qualify as being active he's asking a question he's getting comments uh, Alan is getting um, a post 14 hours ago uh Catherine so that's kind of how you find you know manually finding active users in groups now if we go back to the feed the, the main feed page right and I look at say my own groups I have my groups uh, <clears throat> if I go to groups right and I look for my groups group that I manage I don't I have I don't have many groups that have a lot of people in them I'm still uh, I'm still building groups I don't know if it'll it doesn't really say how many people are in the groups right probably the group with the most is this one so this one has 346 members right so in this group there's no activity because well I don't know because I'm the only one posting and well I guess Dick Douglas here posted something <laughs> and I post I post mostly stuff in this group right and this guy posted too so I can see this Douglas guy is also active right and he's posting as well as me right and he's posting regularly in here I guess he's posting some um, might be some yeah he's posting some good some stuff that's relevant to the group which is great and that's the thing you got to find out is whether they're posting relevant things but right now that's kind of how you figure out who is active in groups so that's that's such a heavy to me that's a really heavy process to figure all that out and you know I want to have a way that help that that minimizes my time the time wasted navigating to the group the time wasted scrolling through the feed to see who's posted the time wasted looking at the comments to see who commented recently and then the time the time it takes to kind of organize it all right to make it all part of your <laughs> to make it all part of your organized 
content like organizing it all so that you can see in a week from now you can go and look at the list and say okay out of these you know 100 people how many are active um th that I've seen active over the last week how many of them are the most active in the bunch right how do you how do you think capture all that it's a lot of work I I bet there's a way and I and I should maybe almost come up with a way to do it and to explain and give you a way to that's kind of you know um doable as a manual process because that's something that I need to be able to explain so that I can explain the automation of it right so how do you automate something without knowing what the manual process is and maybe that's what I need let me just actually do that right now let's go in here <laughs> into my notes let's add a note file here uh, new text document call it notes and let's just put in here <clears throat> how to find active group users and group okay so number one go to group right obviously number two look at posts and comments to find people uh, current currently active right so that that gives you the people that are active like right now right the moment you look at it number three um number three would be so let's do this let's create a folder on computer with user profile name okay so for every single user you would create a folder so let's actually do that right now let's go in here let's do that for uh, let's say um mm -hmm -hmm. so let's see now what do I want to do oh yeah so this is how we're going to do so what I want to find out is who's the most active right who's the most active and this could be might be better to maybe I want to create a spreadsheet but the problem is I want to have a way to identify how many people are actually active so maybe we do this with a spreadsheet let's go and let's go let's go well number one number one let's create a google sheet for active users all right let's do that number one. <clears throat> oh my, my phone thinks I'm talking to it okay so number two is going to be um okay so number two go to group number three uh and number four okay so let's create the sheet right so let's go over here and go to google sheets so sheets.google.com right so then I'm just going to create a new sheet I'm just going to say it's a blank sheet and I'm going to call it so I'm just going to call it group active users right whoops somehow group active users okay so now what kind of data do I care about right number one I want to know how many well first of all I want to know who the people are right so let's just say I create a sheet per per user so I don't know if that's a good idea or not uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to man uh, but let's just do this will be one way to do it right so first I'm going to add a sheet and the sheet so let's call this sheet here let's call this main right and let's call this sheet uh, the name of the user so let's go to the user here I've got <clears throat> so I've got this user let's say and this is a thing you're going to have to have a maximum number of posts to look at you don't want to be looking at every single post and can I do this as a recent post there you go I want to see the recent posts and it's going to lower there's nothing oh, okay well let's go to the other group let's go to my the click funnels um the click funnels affiliate affiliate group here I'm going to start with that group and uh let's go to recent posts okay so I've got recent posts right here this one here is 15 hours ago I can maybe say that Leslie Turner here and this is like I said it's going to be pretty crazy let's say I do this one I go in here and I make this sheet Turner Leslie okay so let's go in here and say that I have uh the date let's say 2022 01 and 06 is today I'm recording the video for tomorrow so and I want to say I want to say he posted 
uh, posted live live. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. This is totally crazy. Okay, let's just go and do this, copy this, and then I'm gonna say this is his post right here. There we go. Okay. Um that's one post that he did. Then there was another post. This was 15 hours ago. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, that's just all his uh, that's all him. Sorry, let's go back. And maybe we should open up a new tab for this. Okay, so this is the first post right here was 15 hours ago and these are all the comments in here so let's look at the comments and let's just do this I've got this is Turner again Shagar let's open in a new tab uh, Sweeney open a new tab Jason Sahil so now as you can see this process could be quite time consuming right so I'm going to go and Sagar over here now what happens if if I already have cigar right so new new sheet and the date 2022-01-06 and he said uh where's his recent comment it'd be this one he commented replay commented well let's just say let's just actually say commented commented and let's just say and also if I look at him today November this is November 19th so he hasn't posted December 21st he posted here uh, he posted here uh December 21st so that's his last post right before that it was November 19th a month before that and then October another month before that so I guess he's been kind of posting once a month in the kind of what he's been doing this person this Shigar guy right so uh Savini Savina she's been post October 20th 20th March 26th so not very lots of posts but commenting here are here right so uh, this is this is crazy right this is crazy how can you possibly make this uh something that's even doable right all right so let's forget about trying to do this on um, automatic or manually right because it is kind of an insane amount of work to try to figure this out right so let's just uh let's just go back to the group here I just want to make sure it's loaded up again let's just uh and okay so what I'm going to show you is a tool that I developed that helps to automate this <clears throat> so in a way that's that still needs some improvements but that really really helps with our understanding so I've got a tool here called active group users uh which actually isn't installed on this computer but let's just go to the website and in this tool you can kind of see if I go to the data here you can kind of see what is happening oh I'm actually uh somebody else here let's go back to data okay so in this tool you can see the current active users the ones that are active on the moment that you actually ask the tool to get data right so the tool goes and fetches like just like we kind of started to do here it goes into the groups that you choose the group that you say to go into and it looks at the the posts and the comments and gets the active people and gives you a list of those people like this right all these people here they're active people today right now the other thing the thing that it does for you is that as you use the tool to interact with these people it'll kind of, it'll keep track of who you interacted with and it lets you put notes and it kind of shows you when the last time you interacted with them what they what the post they commented on was what the comment is right and also here's their profile and then over here these numbers that you see right here the two and the three and the six and the five and the and the <clears throat> these numbers that are showing up here right those are numbers representing how many times you've actually interacted with them now that's not that's not the number of act, that's not how active they are that's how you've interacted with them now that like I said there's a there's improvements to be made in this tool uh to kind of keep track of who is posting regularly who is not so I would want to see like Guriam Guriam here even though he's not English 
and I interacted with them 35 days ago and only once then they might be somebody who's super in active right but I can't really tell that other than the fact that if his name shows up in the scans regularly right over here I have all the different scans that I did before <laughs> how many records I had in each of the different scans <laughs> with the date of when I scan so all this data I can I could download in a sh in a sheet I, anyways there's all sorts of things you can do with this so that you could actually build something that gives you regular um interactions the tool is a free you can actually download this tool you can actually install it and use it and start using it for free like if I um well I don't know if I want to get into all that I did other trainings on how to use the tool but what I wanted to tell you show you here is that if I look at this list of people if I download let's say I download let's just do it okay let's say I go to six days ago five days ago four days okay let's go to seven days ago actually no let's start with right now and then we'll go back so I'm going to download this and I'm going to save that into my new <coughs> the folder I'm working on right now I'm just going to download it here and then afterwards we're going to import it in the Google sheet and see whether we can how we can use it so go to the previous day right here three records yesterday 81 records yesterday this one here I'm going to just do this one <coughs> and I'm going to download that one as well because it has to be loaded and priced and processed and everything that's why it's it takes a little bit to show but after it's loaded and processed and shows as a list that list can be downloaded the way it is right <coughs> and let's just uh, do that there we go download we're going to save that as well over here and as you can see it kind of shows you the date right and the num a number that's I don't know I don't remember what that number is but it's a <laughs> it's a number for it okay oh it's the time I guess okay so that's uh on the yesterday let's say on the fourth now <coughs> we're gonna get that one too and uh we're gonna load that up and I just want to kind of see a couple of them right so you can kind of see if you look at the list when it shows up there you can you can see right the list of people <clears throat> that were active that day the problem with the tool right now which I want to improve on is actually I want to be able to say this particular person was seen in the last you know five records 10 records 20 scans in the last month they were seen you know four days out of, of the 20 or 10 days or 30 days right <clears throat> I would give you who's most active right how often are they posting right so I mean you can see these these this is the post these are the comments you can see right here the numbers anyways let's just download it <clears throat> and save this one and then let's go to the next one that was the fourth let's go in the third <clears throat> so we're just going to download these and then I'm going to import them to Google sheet to see how I can uh, correlate them right and we'll see maybe that's not too hard to do maybe it's going to be complicated we'll see but to install the tool by the way all you got to do is you got to go to activegroupusers.com which I'll put the link right here so all you got to do is go to activegroupusers.com where you can actually install the tool and download it so I'm going to keep uh, loading this up and saving them but go ahead and go to that link activegroupusers.com like I said it's a free tool well there's a there's a there's a paid plan but it's a free tool to install and to use and to try out and it's you've got a 14-day free trial on it as well but basically this is kind of what it is on the third the third the first that's interesting I guess I skipped a day maybe or maybe it was just one was at after midnight the other one was before midnight right but yeah so it lets you uh, scan any groups you want you can choose the groups that you scan they can be either groups that you own or or other groups that you're part of and you can do that <coughs> let's save that here okay and then uh the next one let's do this one 31st of December 2021 that was the last day of 2021 right so 2022 now we are I'm going to save this one so we got one two three four five got five of them this will be six and uh we'll be good to go I think that'll be good enough so that we can kind of get an idea of how this all works right so actually if I go in here 
and I say new tab and I want to can I import import a upload CSV file mm. oops let's see what happens if I try to import a CSV file so January 1st let's do January 6th so what's it gonna let me do create a new spreadsheet no insert new sheet replace current sheet separator okay let's just see input data is that going to give me yeah perfect okay so that gives me the oh wonderful okay so now I'm going to do this is going to be uh, I wish I would have had the what the date was that okay well anyways I'm going to insert another one and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to import file import this kind of cool I, and this is something that I can automate obviously but for now I've got this one which is going to be this one here January 5th I'm going to take the name here open I'm going to do the same thing with this one this is going to be in replace current sheet oh no yeah replace current sheet import data and this one is this one I don't need this January 5th okay there we go and let's go back here and save that download this as well and save it let's go to the previous one while we're loading it I just want to see I actually am very curious to see exactly what I can do with this because that's one of the things that I wanted to do before and I want to create another one let's just do this one too <laughs> file import so we did uh import upload again here and I want to do let's say I did the January 6 then January 5 January 4. okay open so I'm going to import that and then we're going to do some magic because you can do you can do uh you can do things between across sheets right so uh should this is going to be there we go January 4th 5th and this I think was January 6th 6th there we go okay so now this one I'm going to replace as well file import uh, import I'm going to go upload and then we're on January 3rd the 3rd of January right here open <coughs> so this process is kind of interesting right because all I'm doing right here current sheet what I'm doing is I'm just getting the data that I already have in active group users right and I want to see how I can actually add up these um, these names there we go okay now I want to actually I'll create another sheet here whoops I don't want this somewhere okay over here I want to do another import we're on January 2nd now let's do January 2nd number two oh there's no January 2nd so January 1st I guess I don't know why I don't have a January 2nd I guess I I just never uh <coughs> I just never um ran it or something I don't know okay another one is going to be now December right import upload December 31st there we go <clears throat> now let's go back over here and save this one as well this is December 30th <clears throat> and load up the next one and 29th okay this is actually something that I want to add to the functionality of the uh of the of the tool but but um it's a it's going to be available as a as a function a feature where I can kind of uh, guide you and do this for you right uh, let's do another one which will be import December 30th 
right upload December 30th so we're at 30 minutes let me just hopefully this is going to be this is all we're going to stop here <clears throat> well actually there's another one right I have one more to upload and I'm going to replace current sheet import and then I'm going to say whoops actually first I'm going to rename this there we go and I'm going to save the last one and we're going to look at what is going on okay so now I'm going to import one last one and then we're going to do something with that file import see if I can actually do stuff to you know integrate <coughs> uh, things with it right 29th <clears throat> all right so now we have all these sheets uh let's just organize them in the right order December 29th the 30th 31st January 1st third fourth oh there's no Jan oh I guess this would be January 5th right here okay so <clears throat> now we have all these sheets and what I want to do now is I want to look at okay if I look at the profile name right here or maybe the maybe the profile <clears throat> profile name all right haha <laughs> that's one thing I should have uh, realized is until recently I was not even keeping track of the profile name there you go this is where it started January I started the profile name and the no <clears throat> interesting what about oh there we go no actually January 4th so I can't go back <laughs> so these profile names I guess there's something going on oh I guess the data didn't really import properly that's why it's kind of messed up uh group link posted link <clears throat> yeah it looks like the data wasn't properly processed so it didn't import properly as you can see right here but the idea would be that I if I can look and find how many let's just say um I wonder if there's a way to find how many of the guy Whitcroft show up in all the sheets that I have here right there must be a way I can probably I can probably search for this right if I do this oops there I know that I can do a control f search for guy Whitcroft there's only one here I search for him here he's not here it's not here he is in this sheet on the sixth and he's on the fifth <coughs> but he's on the sixth the fifth and the uh, and the and here so where is he let's show him there he is so that means that I'm just on oh actually that's a comment oh I see aha so that's interesting because if I look at this it's a comment that was picked up in the different scrapes from the same comment these are identical records so that means that this person even though he's showing up in the different scrapes he's only there once so I actually have uh that's it for today I hope that this kind of gives you some insight on how to use active group users how to find the active groups I have to improve this obviously but this gives you a start as to how you can do it and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.